Okay, so for anyone who watches this on YouTube, hi, my name's Phil Gallagher. Uh, I run Thraben University, and this is the continuation of playing Bahra's sort of red white splash Orzhov Pontiff uh, experimental deck list. It gets rid of swords to plowshares in the Stoneforge Mystic Package for a whole bunch of generic beaters. I will link you to the previous video in the comments or in my description so that you can hear my full discussion of this deck list, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and just jump into another league. Let's see if we can incinerate some more play points. No, I don't run ads on my channel. Oh, neat. All right. This is a tricky hand. I'm going to keep this one. It doesn't have a turn 2 play, but we have fewer of those in this deck. It's a little soft to an opposing wasteland. It doesn't have a planes for Magus of the Moon. But if we end up playing against something like, like Check Pile, this is an awesome hand. That's a good draw. Spell Pierce. Okay. No. Uh, Uncanny Jim Jams. Uh, if you haven't read it already, I would take a look at Sean Brown's recent articles. They have metagame breakdowns. I would take a look at that, and I would take a look at the data set from JVP. Interesting. Uh, the data set from, like, uh, like MTG Goldfish or something like that, uh, to just see what, uh, what, like, the different percentages are. I would expect a shit ton of Grixis Delver, a sprinkling of other flavors of Delver, and a good amount of DNT and check pile. As far as like other decks, I'd expect to play against like Sneak and Show and Eldrazi and other things that are generically popular. I don't even know what a Zolfir and Crusader is. I assume it's unplayable and that I'm being trolled. I guess I technically should have protected my mom from that, but it doesn't, like, actually matter. Alright, so we're just gonna, gonna brick on lands and die. That's fine. I will just die to this Jace ultimate emblem over the course of a game if I don't draw lands in the next few turns. Alright, that is a creature.
So this was a hand that would be like fine in the matchup, but we did not hit any lands. All right, that's something we can cast. I'll concede to another counter spell here, though. Yeah, all right, that's fine. Alright, so we're playing against Cersei, game one, brick on lands, and lose to JVP. Nah, I, I, I think we're, we're pretty well dead there. Like... If we, if we spike the land and flicker wisp and we flicker the JVP, like that buys time, but like my opponent has the search, I'm really behind on tempo, they're drawing a bunch of cards, um, like it's very likely they have another counter spell. I don't, I don't think that's worth playing out. Sideboarding is going to be a little weird. So we'll probably Council's Judgment and Recruiter. And we might not have much else. I guess we could consider Rest in Peace and Relic Order. What's well, not going to be good? Magus isn't going to be good. Hollowed Spirit Keeper isn't going to be good. The rest of the stuff is all fine, so I'll just make one trim. It's going to be a Flicker Wisp. This is unplayable. God damn it, again. Uh, I don't think I can keep this. Like, if I try to scry for a land, I'm on the play. So like I do literal nothing with my turn, and then I have like two uncastables, and my entire hand is uncastable if I don't hit this land. We get to play magic. Yeah, I, I, th I think 23 lands is ambitious. I also don't know how I feel about that Rashad and Port either. Or like the fourth Rashad and Port. We're gonna... We, we just have to jam this game. If my opponent has Counterspell, so be it. Yep. It, 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 it's not like I can play around an HC box. Like, I have... 
what do you want me to do? Like, cast the Flicker Wisp for no value? I think, like, the Flicker Wisp has better potential. Oh, great. There's Jitte in this damn deck, too. Awesome. Yeah, there's no caverns. Alright, Council Judgment. There is some tempta temptation to bounce the Thalia and give the Mom up. That's terrible tempo loss for me if they vote for Mom instead. So I'll accept. I'm not gonna play around back to basics. We're uh, super dead if they have a back to basics anyway. Yeah, like, we're, we're technically doing something, but we're just 100% dead to what my opponent has. Like, now they, uh, they get to Council Judgment away this mom, then they have active Jitte, and we're super dead to that, we don't have removal. trade that body off. You know, the Starfleet Daredevil would have been great if my opponent left their Council Judgment in the graveyard, like a bro. We're gonna save that for a cantrip or equivalent. All right, let's throw this and uh, force a will. All right, cool. We have a card on board.
my opponent will now probably just like play a true named nemesis and I'll cry. Oh no. Play around actual counterspell and and like natural cast force of will by doing this. Actually, that was probably just bad. Right, my hand's bad enough that I probably just want to like wait a whole turn cycle in order to like have Caracas up again when I play this. Yeah, that was bad. Misplay on my end. Alright, so I guess I, I played around removal spells, but not around, like, counter magic by doing what I did. Sure. Yeah, now our Dark Daredevil can do something. And I even played out a fetch land so that I can go and, like, get one card off of one of those brainstorms and then throw the rest back. Hey, that's not bad. Alright, so I guess I'll pay like this. It's, it's kind of disappointing. So I guess I can still port. Yeah, I think I... I think I play the land, brainstorm, keep the best card. Fetch and then port. Uh, not awesome cards. I guess I'll keep the Wingmare. Or the Wasteland? No, definitely not.
Awesome. Ah, great. Hey, this Direfleet Daredevil would be awesome if my opponent left a uh, just regular fucking removal spell in there. But they did not. No chances. I know my direfully Daredevil stonewalls that, but as soon as they have another critter, I'm just dead to it. Council's judgment. Council's judgment, one time dealer. Awesome. Yeah, but like there was a chance, right? Alright, I'm moving on. I'm not technically dead here, but I don't enjoy this build enough to, uh, to fight through. I just want to get paired against, like, Delver or Checkpile to see if this is, like, reasonable against any real deck. Yeah, both, both, both teams did borderline nothing until someone finally died, yeah. That was, uh, that was basically what happened there. All right, this hand's solid. All right, I think my opponent plays Grixis Delver. Interesting.
It's a shame that that bobble isn't gonna do a damn thing. Or, like, my spirit isn't gonna do anything against the bobble. Can't generate any value off the Dire Fleet yet. I can offer the trade for the Mongoose, but my opponent's not doing anything, so I don't think I want to do that. I think I'm just going to play Flicker Wisp and just start attacking in the air. Selfless, actually, Selfless Spirit might be better because that plays around Daze and protects from like potential Lightning Bolts for the Spirit. Yeah, let's do that. No, I think I need to start killing my opponent. I don't think just porting them is better than, like, putting a real threat into play. Ooh. That's the ponder with spirit in play. That's real sad. Well, they didn't shuffle, so they found a land. Hmm. Hmm. So I think this turn is... Just play Spirit pre-combat. Make sure it resolves before attacking with other Spirit. And then port. Yes, yeah, spirit, spirit finally got a card. Like, all right, I, I guess it got one off the uh, the Elvish Visionary as well. And p yeah. All right. So this this turn could be Dire Fleet Daredevil. Ponder, look for land, find land, play Thalia. Yeah, I, I, I figured that out. That's why I didn't do it. Alright, so we're on the play there. Versus Delis. So game one win with... Aggro after spirit lock. The opponent did not find his happy place. Alright. Rest in peace is good. The opponent presumably has some non nimble mongoose threats that I can get with this. I uh, don't know my opponent's exact deck list. If they're playing true names, then Pontiff is good. If they're not playing true names, then Pontiff is probably bad. 
And I'd also consider these cards. Will I have the board out? That's the real question. Probably don't want these recruiters. Mm, so he does have that, okay. That that might actually make these paths like considerably worse than if he's just on like a majority of creatures that are shroud or like pseudo shrouded. So sort of awkwardly most like almost all of my cards are just really really good against the opposing deck. So I'll probably like trim a flicker wisp. Probably a hair to Cathar is probably like really slow on the draw. And then I have a bunch of flyers. Maybe I should bring in some paths for Goyf. All right, hands great. I want to hold this fetch land as long as humanly possible. I probably want to get scrub land with it for Pontiff. But I might need red for a dire deck. Darkly Daredevil. Uh... This is not mana efficient, but the value I'm going to generate off this ether vial over time is absurd. Shuffles with the Ponder. Sure. Always yield. Do, 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 do. Since I have the Vial going up to two next turn, I just want to play this Rest in Peace. If it gets dazed, that's not the end of the world, but it resolving is pretty sweet. Yeah, I, I haven't been watching much SCG content these days. Not, not because it's bad or anything, just because, like, I've just been streaming a lot myself, and that's filled more of my time.
I'm gonna go ahead and cast Athalia to just see if I can get my opponent to counter this, and I cannot. It also represents more things off of my vial. Yes, Gudo. I didn't get a very good representation of what this deck was like playing the first league, so I wanted to try a second. Let's see if my opponent had like a stifle. Do not. Uh, you also told me there were, uh... No, no, no targets for my paths other than Goy. Library is moderately annoying. It's very possible that I, I just like Council Judgment away the Delver and just crash in for 6 damage, put my opponent to 10, and make it so they can't really draw cards off the Sylvan Library. Although they would still get to use it for fixing. I do kind of like that, honestly. Oh, I, I hated on it a lot. A whole lot. I'm just going to get in the driver's seat here. I don't know if that play was right. It's close. Yeah, it was it was really good in game in game two of it, like it was it was very good 
three, or sorry, was that game one of this match? It was very good in the previous match. Game. Blech. Yeah, yeah, insane might be generous, as as you say. It it was very good. I will I will admit that. Like, it would have traded even with like a thresholded nimble mongoose. Uh, it was very aggressive because my opponent like had no real board. Let's see, so I can make the triple attack in, my opponent then has to block the th I don't know, the triple attack in is just lethal, right? My opponent has a braid, but they can't cast it. So I, I, I triple attack in, and then I have flicker wisp, and mom, yeah, opponent's just dead. Uh, if they have a lightning bolt, they can try to lightning bolt one thing, but then the backup mom kills them. This was a weird game. All right. Play win, draw win. Game two, aggro opponent out. Alright. Spirit of the Labyrinth earned its earned its salt in that uh in that game. I'm gonna stretch for a second while uh we're we're getting paired here. I'm getting a little drowsy. So Tyler, I think I'm going to call it after this next match here, unless it goes super, super quickly. So I just want to give you that heads up if you want me to host you. This is just the same guy again, right? Oh no, this is the ant opponent. Let me just confirm that I have the right column here. Yeah. Alright, so I'll keep a hand that has Thalia against ant on the play. Or sorry, was was he the ant guy or the test guy? Ant guy.
All right, opponents cooped it up. Thalia is not unbeatable in game one, uh, but it, it is hard to beat, and the rest of their hand wasn't great. Like, it looks like they only had one land. Uh, they're just not getting there. All right, so surgicals and mind break in. Rip in, Relic Order in, Recruiter in, I think opponent showed us Dread of Night before, and we'll consider Pontiff. Yes, opponent did show us Dread of Night before. Alright, so what's bad? Magus is pretty bad, Spirit Keeper is pretty bad. I guess... Probably trim two to three flicker wisps. Selfless spirit isn't the best if my opponent is on dread of night as their way to remove stuff. No, Darfly Daredevil is actually pretty good. Like they they have things like duress and thoughtsee or not thoughtsees uh. Duress, Cabal Therapy, Ponder, Brainstorm, Git Probe, like, it, it's fine. Maybe I'll just cut Flicker Wisp, like, entirely. So cards I'm thinking about cutting are Avenger and Thalia Hereticathar, but doing so would mean that I have very few creatures that can live through Dread of Night. So I'm a little hesitant to cut all, cut all of that. Maybe I'm not actually supposed to board in the Pontiffs. Yeah, I won't board in the Pontiffs. Alright, uh, this hand's awkward, but fine. It has a surgical as, like, super early interaction. It has an ether vial, and it has a wing mare. So, like, we, we can do some degree of things with this hand. Ooh, I've never, uh, had Thalia Heretic. Cathar in play against this deck, so I didn't realize it could hit LED. Forgot that it had that art artifacts clause. Hmm, neat. Ooh, can it still be cracked? It's not like a tap and sacrifice LED. It's just sacrifice. Cool. Did you lie to me and Thalia Heretic Cathar doesn't hit artifacts? That's super disappointing. Yeah, you lied to me. Alright, it's creature and not basic lands. I was kind of wondering about that. Like, I feel like I would have remembered that if uh, that was something that came up. Alright, opponent names the surgical. Presumably that means they, uh... 
Ooh. All right, we have a big opening here. Let's see if we can do anything with it. No, we'll just draw another ether vial. I'm gonna intentionally show them this scrubland. So I guess this just gets another Cabal Ritual. The Cabal Rituals get seven Past and Flames, Cabal Rit, Cabal Rit, Infernal Tutor, Tendrils. Maybe you get Taxi and Probing in there to build Storm. Yeah, so that's six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I'll just concede to that. I won't make him do it. All right, Tyler. I'll uh, I'll hit you up when I'm done with this match. All right, this hand's pretty insane. We'll keep this one. All right, so on the draw, we lost. Alright, sure, you get to Cabal Therapy, my Thalia, but then I get to Wasteland you. And I have a vial. And another vial. Still with Surgical up. This is fine. Draw. No, I'm not gonna go as far, like, so deep as to, like, wasteland underground sea? Or am I? If I wasteland- if I surgically extract in the underground sea right now, my opponent actually can't get blue off of this fetch. I have to get a swamp. Does that matter? It might matter. It doesn't matter if my opponent is going off. Because they just, like, get swamp, rit, 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 herp -a derp But if they're trying to cantrip, then this stops them from cantripping. That might be huge. No, they, no, they could have Valk. They could have, like, a Valk, and then that doesn't actually do that. Yeah, no surgical.
I only got swamp anyway. Alright, so this this gets my surgical extraction. I think I'd rather have the two life. Um, well, maybe I want to know what's going on with my opponent's hand. Oh, jeez. So they've got two Cabals, two Dark, and an Empty. So opponent has two Chain of Vapors and a whopping three Dread of Knights that I care about. Pontiff, where are you? Pontiff's in the sideboard. Alright, so here is our opponent's opportunity to draw the red source and kill us. They drew Cabal Therapy instead, so they get our Recruiter, and we get Wingmare. Hello, hello. Uh, this, is a, this is a tense moment here. So we know my opponent has Cabal Rit, Cabal Rit, Dark Rit, Dark Rit, empty. And we're not getting cute and trying to like play the ring mare, wing mare in response to the first ritual or anything like that. No, we're not doing that. We're not messing around here. And how insane would a dire fleet daredevil be? Look at my horse, my horse is amazing. Alright. Um that's scary. Doesn't quite work yet. Uh but it's real close to working. Hey, Deus 422 thank you very much for your subscription. I do appreciate the support. This is uh, it's gonna be a nail-biter here, folks. Can't have them draw another land. <laughs> Alright, we're a bully.
Yeah, so like I'm I'm streaming on a Saturday today instead of the usual days, so I'm I'm hitting a new crowd that I don't normally get to get to hit, which is great. Like uh, a lot of the folks from overseas usually can't watch me because it's like super super late by the time I start streaming. Uh, it is very rude. All right, so so game three there we we win with double wingmare and Thalia. Uh, that was a very narrow win, though. Uh, my opponent hit a land on uh, a certain turn. Uh, that's uh, that's it. Yeah, their their dark grit was uh, not particularly good after that uh, second wing mare, and it was even worse after the Thalvia. All right, folks, uh, it is lunchtime for me here. I will finish out this leg this league at some point later today. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and throw you over to uh, one of my friends. Uh, I think he is currently playing Aluren. And for those of you that subscribed and followed today, thank you very much for your support. Um, tune in later today at some point, and I'll finish out this league. Otherwise, my normal times are Monday and Wednesday nights at 7 p.m. Eastern time. Thank you so much for, for supporting me today. Have a good Saturday.